right now. We have a hearing for convicted killer Scott Peterson being held this morning in Redwood City. It's the first of three hearings that have been set as his defense team continues to try to get him a new trial. Ground Force Michael Thomas is live at the Hall of Justice in Redwood City with what we know is going on right now. Michael. Hey, good morning, everyone. That hearing actually just finished up. It lasted maybe a total of 15 to 20 minutes. We did have our Charles Clifford inside who tells me that Scott Peterson did appear via Zoom from prison. And we've got video on your screen. He looked similar to this image the last time he was at a hearing. He had his hair back in a ponytail, that blue jumpsuit, and only spoke essentially to make sure that he could hear the judge. Now, what was discussed, essentially, they did put a letter request asking that all new evidence brought into question remain private and be sealed, not making any public appearances or information given out. At that point, the uh, Stanislaus County DA did respond by saying some of that information may already be public and some of it may just be kind of too hard to do. So essentially, the Innocence Project did repeal that request letter. So any new information that does possibly come up that could um, be brought into evidence, we all would find that information out because they did reach... Um, pull back from that letter. In addition, they also talked about evidence, physical evidence that currently is in Modesto of how they would get it here to San Mateo County and how they would be able to go through it. That is still things that officials are trying to work through with the DA office over near Modesto saying that they would need to figure out how to transport it and they also need to continue going through the requests that the Innocence Project has asked for because some things are not going hand in hand and some things just don't make sense essentially on their end. And to give background information on that, the Innocence Project uh, is an organization that really takes on cases that they feel were convicted wrongfully, which is how they took on Scott Peterson's case. And during this time, they're continuing to ask for these these requests and they are asking for a new trial but back out here live this is just the first of three hearings so as we get more information on the next hearing and that is put onto the calendar we'll continue to keep you updated but dorian james overall this hearing again 20 minutes long really not much was done and scott peterson did not speak at all we are waiting to hear um from more experts and we'll bring that to you at noon i'll send it back to you live in the studio okay thanks a lot michael well 10 .04.